Hi everybody, it's Anya, and today I have a great recipe for you planned. I'm making feta cheese, roasted red bell pepper, and basil muffins, and they are going to be so good. So here I have just a mise en place going. I have some unbleached all-purpose flour, some salt, baking soda, baking powder, roasted red bell peppers, feta cheese, dried basil, olive oil, some egg, and some buttermilk. So there we go, not that many ingredients and it's really easy. So let's get going on those muffins. Okay, so what I wanted to mention was I made half of the recipe, but I'm gonna be mentioning now the ingredients for the full recipe. So just begin by listening. So you'll need two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. You'll need two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and you wanna mix that well until it's nicely incorporated. Okay, so that looks nice, and now we are going to begin on the feta cheese red pepper mixture. So I have half a cup of jarred roasted red bell pepper. I patted it dry and diced it until it was fine in little bits. I ha you'll need three quarter cup of crumbled feta cheese. I love feta cheese, the salty bite. Oh, it's amazing. So it's one of my favorite things. And then I have one, you'll need one tablespoon of uh, dried basil. And you're just going to add that in there. I just kind of pinched it to get the flavors going. And you're going to fold it like so. So there we go. Okay, so that looks great, and it looks delish. I'd probably eat it on its own, but now we can begin on the buttermilk mixture. So I don't usually buy buttermilk at the store since I don't use it very often, so I made my own. I have I made it by having one cup of whole milk and adding a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar, and I stirred it together, and I let it sit for about 10 minutes, and it created that buttermilk-like texture. And then what you want to add is you want to add one whole egg and a fourth of a cup of olive oil and you want to whisk that until it's nicely incorporated. Okay, so that's good and now I'm going to go back to my flour mixture from earlier and I'm just going to create a well in the center to add my buttermilk mixture. So you'll just see I'm kind of scooting the flour to the, towards the sides and making a little well. It's pretty easy. So I'm just pouring in the buttermilk egg mixture and I'm going to get my spatula from earlier and I'm going to fold that in until it is all nice and it's okay to have lumps in the batter. A little bit of that is fine but you don't want there to be a lot because that means that there's like little clumps of flour throughout the batter that probably won't cook the way that you want them to. So also, you want to be cautious that you don't over mix the dough because you don't want it to create gluten which will make the dough tough. So now what you want to do is you want to add in the feta cheese mixture and you want to fold that in gently until everything is mixed nicely together. After about 30 seconds, that's how it should look. Everything is perfect. So now what we are going to do is I've greased the muffin tins with some oil and I have a little ice cream scoop. I'm going to level off the top and fill it up and I'm just going to scoop it into the little muffin tins and continue doing that for all 12. This recipe makes 12. So yeah, I'm only making six because I made half a recipe, but the uh, recipe I'm giving you now makes 12 to feed your family. Okay, so there we go. There's all six. I'm just cleaning off any edges for any dough fallouts, giving it a little tappa tappa to get it all level, any air bubbles out. And I'm going to put that in the oven for about 17 minutes at 375 until they come out clean with a toothpick. So there we have it. There are our muffins from the oven. And I wanted to show you the book that I got it from. I really enjoy this book. It's called The Art and Soul of Baking from Sir Latov. They have amazing recipes. You guys should check out the book and purchase it if you like it. So there we have the recipe. I'm just going to show you the inside of the muffin. They were all steamy. They were perfect and moist. You guys should give them a try. I thought they even would have been better with a little bit of sausage. They would have needed that. So I say serve these alongside some hearty maybe sausage soup or something. Like 
this video if you want me to show you how to make sausage soup. I have a great recipe. So yeah, try these alongside some meaty good dinner that you have and your family will adore them. You can also eat them on their own for a quick breakfast. These muffins were really good and I hope you guys give them a try. Let me know if you do how they go for you. My name is Anya. I really love to cook and I hope you will learn and love to too. Have a great day. Bye!